Ten things you can do this Ramadan. Usually, when the month of Ramadan comes, we all go to the masjid to get blessings from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Unfortunately, we can't do that this year because of the coronavirus affecting the whole world. We have to stay home day after day, and this is definitely. A very unique Ramadan for all of us, but remember, this is a test from Allah. How will you spend your time during this Ramadan? Will you waste your time, or will you try your best to make Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala happy and get countless of blessings? Here are ten things that you can and should do this Ramadan. If you do these ten things, inshallah, all of us can have an amazing Ramadan and make Allah happy. All right, let's start. Number one, make a timetable or a schedule for Ramadan. Plan out when you will go to sleep, wake up, and what you will do throughout the entire day. Number two. Try to finish reading the whole Quran at least once. If you forgot or don't know how to read Arabic, don't worry. There are lots of videos and websites available where you can learn Arabic, so you can read the Quran. We encourage you to read the Quran in Arabic, but if you can't, try to read the meaning of the whole Quran in your schedule or timetable. Plan out. One or two hours throughout the day for just reading the Quran, so that you won't forget. Number three. Sometimes we might want to do something fun or entertaining, but we should not spend all of our time on video games or non-Islamic TV. Instead, you should see fun Islamic videos. Speeches or read some Islamic books or articles. Try to read a famous tafsir of the Quran. You can get free PDF versions online. This is the perfect time for you to learn more about Islam. Number four, be grateful that we are lucky to have this Ramadan. Some of us might have our family or friends who just passed away recently. We need to pray for them and. Pray for everyone and ask Allah to save us during this difficult time. Number five, help your parents. You can help your mom and dad by preparing for iftar. Try to set up the table and even clean the house. Our parents work so hard for us. If you help them to make them happy, then Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala will also be really happy with you too. Inshallah. Number six, pray tarawih prayers every day. Try to turn your house into a mini mosque. We should try to pray all the tarawih prayers with our family in a jamaat. If you're a boy, then you should try to lead the prayers. Also, ask your parents to set up a specific time so you never miss tarawih prayer this Ramadan. And so you can get many rewards while staying home. Make the tarawih prayers a very special memory during this Ramadan. Number seven, do not waste your Ramadan nights. If you finish all of your prayers and Islamic activities, then you should go to bed right away. We should not waste our time on useless activities. Number eight. In this Ramadan, make a goal to wake up early for the morning meal or suhoor. There are lots of benefits to waking up for suhoor. You can pray a few rakat of tahajjud prayer or the special night prayer before the meal. There are many, many blessings in the suhoor meal. It will give you strength all throughout the day, inshallah. Number nine. In Ramadan, every night is important, but the last ten days are the most important nights. One of the nights is the Qadr night, 
If you need to know more about the Qadr night, please see our famous 30 Ramadan lesson series. We'll put the link down below. If you spend the Qadr night praying, we might all complete our Ramadan mission successfully and win the blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that will make our life the most successful in this world and the hereafter. Number 10. Finally, our most favorite topic of Ramadan. Eid shopping. Yay! But wait, how can we do shopping? We're stuck in our house and we can't go to anyone's house. And no one can come to our house during the Eid time. Oh no, that's not good at all. But don't be sad. We can make this Eid even more special than ever, inshallah. We can't really shop for Eid clothes, but instead, we will shop for the rewards in this Ramadan. We will donate as much as possible to the needy people. Lots of people lost their jobs and don't even have any money to buy food. During this Ramadan, all the Muslim organizations and masjids do their fundraising for the whole year. Since the masjids are closed, they can't do their fundraising. Without donations, they cannot do any good things for the community. All of us should donate to our local masjids and Muslim organizations as much as possible. Maybe by donating money, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will save us from this difficult time. Donation removes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's anger and it will increase our wealth. This will help us get countless of rewards and make us very, very happy, inshallah. Let's make this year the most happiest Eid in our life during this difficult time by donating generously. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our efforts and make it easy for us to follow these 10 things to do during this special Ramadan. Ameen. Ramadan Mubarak to all of you and until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.